we are on our way to the popular Ohun waterfall, one of the popular tourist attractions in Enugu. We walked approximately 45 minutes to arrive here from the monastery. This monastery is the last point a vehicle can get to. Somehow, the journey down to the waterfall will be a bit easier when you are going because you will be descending a hill. Going back is a different ball game. A visit to this place is something you would want to experience if you love nature and you love tourism. Oum Waterfall is situated at the Amugwe village of Oum Town, a 25 km drive from the Enugu town. Special thanks to Uche of Ito Africa who made this trip possible. And we're also here with two of my friends, Chupodi and Chimezie. Richard joined us from the monastery. He's our tour guide and I feel he might also be a monk. <laughs> One of the features you see when you get to get to uh, hear about Ohum waterfall is that this place is largely a religious uh, site people because it's uh, controlled by the monks actually the Sister Shin um, monastery are the people who are in full control of this place of this site and what we have here you will hear Ohum waterfalls and cave and we are at the foot of the cave now and the story behind the cave is that a certain lion lived here and the cave was constructed by that mistress i use the word mistress because of course the lion at some point was killed but then the lion made this place very comfortable as you can see it's getting deep and deep i remember when i used to visit here early uh, two, 2011 the height was just somewhere here just by that place you can see that uh, statue of the virgin mary over there that is where you have the height but of course what has to do with water the water keep digging deep and then going down and down and down you can see the height the rock and every other thing those are the fascinating sights or scene that you have to see when you come here From this waterfall and stream is said to have healing powers and capable of dispelling evil forces wherever it is sprinkled. During our trip, we met several villagers on the road with gallons who we are coming to fetch from this stream, probably to administer to their loved ones who are in need. This site is particularly good for religious tourism and people who want seclusion from the busy simple world find their way to this sacred landscape to achieve spiritual upliftment. Down here in this valley, it boasts of numerous natural streams and lakes with beautiful white sand beaches. The beautiful hills surrounding this beautiful scenery makes it cinematic and a place to stay all day and dream. This waterfall is around 30 meters high. It's also warm throughout all seasons of the year. It falls at a very high pressure and this pressure can do a good massage if you need one. <laughs> I really had one for myself and it felt so good. So we just leave the 
all of your home waterfalls and uh, all the very wonderful experience. Thank you, Jeff, for bringing us to Max uh, Chikumi and my very good friend here, Richard, all right? Richard. Yes, Richard. So, See the depth. It is quite a wonderful place here and uh, you must visit here. So, it's a um, place to what, did, what was your experience like here today? It was... No, 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 no. let's start with... Uh, okay. Awesome, actually, because yeah. um, I've been here a couple of times. Yeah. And for me, selling tourism is something that I have natural play for. Okay. And at first, when Ifatu told me that he's in Enugu, of course I knew that he wouldn't just come to Enugu and then leave without having a few of what Enugu has to offer. God bless you, bro. This is one out of numerous, over 16 waterfalls you have spread all across every geopolitical zone in Enugu. We have it in the north, like in the northern part of Enugu, which is in the Soka. Mm -hmm. We have the Opi Obozala Lake and waterfalls. Nice. We also have caves as well. Okay. And uh, we have what we call the Wonder Lakes, yeah. over nine pockets of lakes wow. um, scattered within a certain um, environment. Wow. And then that's one. And then when you move to uh, Ogu, that is in Enugu West, senatorial zone, you also have the likes of the waterfalls in Ogu. Yeah. And then when you move to Udi, you have like we have here a um, waterfall, we have the Ziago waterfall, we have um, the Ashria Lake and waterfall, and we have all over Enugu, it's all scattered. We have it been in Enkano, we have the lakes and the waterfalls there. So okay. because of the topography of Enugu, Enugu has lots and lots of waterfalls. And, and then places. historically, Enugu actually um, has a chunk of the slave trade routes. So wow. that is why we have um, pockets of um, uh, caves, because some of those times they, they require to use the caves and have to bore holes in order to take their the slave merchants would have to pass through uh, those uh, this thing undetected. So, okay, anyways, okay, anyways, nice to be. And when you are visiting, just like if I to do it, count on I told Africa. My name is Winston Luce. I am your best tourist guy or tour guy that you can think of. Yeah, thank you very much, Uche. I sincerely appreciate every single thing you've done for me, honestly. I, I can't just thank you enough. Okay, so let's talk to Chukwode. Chukwode, so uh, I saw you dancing around in the water. You were having a very good time. So tell me, what was it like coming here and uh, what do you have to say about this place? I live close around this place. And I, uh, although I know it was something like this, but I will take here. Okay. So, c'est très magnifique. It was so interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. So scintillating, so fascinating. I can imagine. So adventurous, so okay. everything. And I hope to come here sooner Hello. than later. Uh, um, I saw you dancing around everywhere, and uh, you are catching fun. And uh, I know you've lived in this town for some time. So what was it like coming here today? Um, this is the first. Well, I found it the first time I'm coming to the waterfall, and yeah. also first time I'm going for a hike. So okay. And I wasn't expecting the topography, the scene to be like this. So okay. it was, it was, it was, it was awesome for me. Okay, um, thank you. Dancing in the waiting, yeah. dancing. Yeah, I. The sound was something. The sound that the water has made is yeah. just something else, and the game effect that yeah. was. Echoes and just yeah. something else, and I yeah. love this. Yeah, I'm so happy you had a very wonderful time, and thanks for joining us on this trip, man. You are the man. Thank you. All right. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey, come on. So, uh, this is our tour guide. He's a very great guy. So, um, Richard, uh, thanks for bringing us, okay? So, what do you want to tell people that want to visit this place? What is the place for the Mirapino, the for God? Nice. So come and play and see the wonders of nature. Okay. That's why we used to bring those here. You can see the wonderful of nature. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, it's very beautiful. The wonderful of nature. I mean, yeah. this type of scene is uh, is drama. Is like a movie, you know. So um, I enjoyed every bit of it. And thanks for bringing us. Thanks for being so kind. You know, you guys us through all the way. Yeah. I'm very grateful. All right. Yeah, welcome.